After a couple weeks vacation, Free to Play Unlimited is back. I'm Oksana and I'll give you the best news of the week, newly announced games and much more, so keep watching. Ubisoft has announced A Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, a new RPG that mixes Diablo-style hack and slash with tower defense elements. This is my castle. There are many like it. This is the first free-to-play game from Ubisoft Montreal, the acclaimed studio responsible for the Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell franchises. The player has to create and improve his castle populating the rooms with all kinds of monsters, traps, and bosses. But you're limited by the amount of gold you have. Basically, this means that the castle will also gain experience as your character does when you invade other players' castles and roles are reversed. At the moment, only a couple of characters are announced, the knight and the archer. The funny announcement trailer set the tone to a mighty quest for epic loot, a game which in part brings us blissful memories of the Dungeon Keeper series. The closed beta is scheduled for October, so keep an eye on the official well, I don't site. Like to brag or anything, but I've looted hundreds of castles. Hundreds of castles. Of course, like Mother always said, it's not really work if you do what you love. Dude's going down. I call this my Gauntlet of Doom! It's awesome for keeping out any would-be thieves and persons of low character. Also, I save a ton on castle insurance. <sighs> this is where I come to relax. To get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Oi. Hi. <gasps> it's the archer. Yes? I have a bone to pick with you. Oh, yeah? Yeah! All right, come on in. Damn right, I'm coming in. He's coming inside. Anyway, it's really important to find time for yourself. After all, if you haven't got your health... You haven't got anything. Leaving so soon? Ah, go f yourself. Okay. Take care now. Have a good trip. So. Gotham City Imposters didn't last long as a retail game, at least not the PC version. Originally released in February 2012, this online first-person shooter is now free to play. <laughs> Gotham City Imposters was developed by Monolith Productions and offers fast-paced combat with cartoon characters based on the Batman series. Players choose from the Bats, vigilantes dressed in Batman costumes, or the Jokers and enter exciting battles with strange devices. There's no news yet on the future of the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, which remain available for purchase. I could spend the whole day thinking up new ways to f up back. I just blew your mind. Love, the mesmerizing entropy MMO adventure developed solely by Eskel Steenberg, is now completely free to play. 
So here we have our ledge, and we're going to see if we can find a good way to get up. Obviously, it's too high to jump. Described by its author as a cooperative online first-person adventure game, Love was released in March 2010 and has evolved over several iterations. The particularity in Love is that the player is a scavenger who has a monolith that allows him to shape the environment, creating houses and modeling the terrain in any way he sees fit. This is a very original game, and one that has to be played with an open mind. So, if you like your games out of the ordinary, then definitely give it a try. So I'm going to use my binoculars to record the position of a teleporter that I want to go to. And then I'm going to go to a teleporter and set it to that coordinate and jump, simply walk into it. And now, I've teleported up the ledge. Gazillion Entertainment revealed a new Marvel Heroes trailer during PAX 2012. This new trailer shows the Hell's Kitchen and hospitable streets and reveals three new heroes. Hell's Kitchen. All I want is for this city to breathe free. Free of corruption. Free of crime. The, streets the newly announced heroes are the popular Daredevil and Punisher, as well as the less famous Squirrel Girl. Gazillion also revealed the anticipated date for the Marvel Heroes closed beta. Superhero fans that are looking for alternatives to DC Universe Online and Champions Online should mark October 1st on their calendars. City of Heroes Freedom is going to shut down on November 30th, according to Paragon Studios, the team that is managing the free-to-play MMO. <laughs> the studio itself is also going to close, all part of a realignment plan from the publisher NCSoft. Sources say that about 80 employees were already laid off. However, there is still hope for City of Heroes and Paragon Studios, who is actively discussing with NCSoft and investors to keep the game alive. Players are even holding in-game protest rallies, and there's a petition online. So, if you're a City of Heroes fan, then show your support to the studio by playing a part in these solidarity actions. Because now, more than ever, the world needs a new hero. This week's Minute of Rage is about Gotham City Imposters, a parade of crazy characters that decided to shoot each other in Batman and Joker costumes. Have you always wanted to dress up like a dick? I mean bat. Well, don't worry kids, the time has come for you to start wearing your underwear outside like some crazed lunatic. Unlike the real Batman who uses stealth and tactics, here we're gonna give you every loud, big, and 4th of July colored weapons to wage all-out war with each other. What's that you say? Dressing up like a bat is not stupid enough? Well, don't worry, little Timmy. You also dress like a clown. These little clowns are just downright f***ing scary. <laughs> you little mental patients will love it when you can violently murder each other and laugh as the blood of your enemy rains down like a vampire's dream. Did I mention that this game has weapons that make a unicorn from the magical planet of rainbows look dull? No! Seriously! This game has incredibly crazy weapons! Even the original Cape Crusader himself loves this game! I'm Batman! So remember kids, this thing is free to play, so make sure you download now and get that violence out of your brain buzzing like B-Man! This week's quiz is about an upcoming martial arts MMORPG that features the famous action movie star Jet Li as a spokesperson. This game isn't many months away from being released and will appear in the US and Europe under two slightly different names. One of the most interesting features is the ability to kidnap other players and demand a ransom to your guild. We predict a lot of kidnapping. 
The first one to write the answer in the comments will see their name featured in the next free to play and limited episode. Black Desert Online is a MMORPG that came out of nowhere and is already making waves with the first trailer. The studio responsible for Black Desert Online, Pearl Abyss, was founded by the original producer of Continent of the Ninth, so we should expect some exciting combat. But that's not all. The trailer reveals some magnificent landscapes and architecture, villages full of life, mounts, large-scale combat, and hero characters so breathtakingly realistic you won't believe your eyes. Black Desert Online looks positively amazing, but is just now about to begin the Eastern Public Beta, so watch the rest of the trailer and cross your fingers for a release in the US and Europe. And that's all for this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments and suggestions below. We'll be back next week with more free-to-play games.